Um, talk about Bill Alfonso a little bit. How was he for you guys both as a team? And then uh, initially, did he do some kind of like a lot of help backstage with you guys as well too? Yeah, yeah. Fonzie, uh, we we really uh, loved working with Fonzie. Uh, and he took his job really serious too. So he's really just the manager uh, on TV, but be- he's happy to have that gig and to be working with the main eventers. And so, so in reality, he's busting his ass, you know, trying to show us that he's happy to, 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 to be there and take care of us. So he would like, uh, when he would get to the hotel first and, uh, and try and make sure that I get like a, you know, the biggest room possible. Or really? Stuff <laughs> like that. Yeah. Yeah. He would, he would always do something like that. He would try and take care of us. And he was, uh, he has like nonstop energy. So he's help. always like on the go, 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 go. Like, he needs to wake up at 8 a.m. and start doing jumping jacks and stuff. And he's just, he's so, he's so wired that way. Um, envious a little bit because I don't have <laughs> nearly that much energy, but, uh, but uh, we, I, I knew right away, you know, he was, that he was uh family, you know? And so like, he was always there with us when we were uh, traveling, when we were partying uh, and when we were doing our business in the ring. Yeah. And he, I okay. think, as a younger kid watching it too, I just remember being like, oh man, like he's like, it would get, he would be noxious to the point where it'd be like, oh, like kind of balancing it out a little bit where like, you know, you're likable, Sabu's likable because of the style, but then he's like kind of, all right, that Bill Alfonso is like fucking, yeah. Bill. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. yeah. People would always bitch about the whistle. How could you stand that annoying whistle? I would just get used to it, I guess, and like, I wouldn't even I wouldn't even notice it unless it was right in my ear. Which once in a while he would do that, and <laughs> I made the match more funny because I'd grab him by his shirt or something. He would always do stuff like that. Sometimes I'd be laying on my back, um, taking a breather, <laughs> you know, after getting kicked or something, and, and then he would like pour water down my throat, and I wouldn't even see it coming. And I'm like, <laughs> I'd be like choking, like, dude, you're killing me, and. Um, yeah, stuff like that and like i say it was organic it would just happened all the time it was made it a lot of fun well even the dynamic in this match too it was kind of neat because you would want him to do shit for you like he'll hold the chair while you, you guys were fighting on the the guardrail right. and like he doesn't do it and you're like what the fuck and you're like kind of like interacting with him then and he's like playing both sides of the field in a lot yeah. of ways like you know yeah. oh i'm on rob's team now i'm on seven's team this is like a very neat dynamic uh, that's when it came into my dressing room when we tried to get it all smoked up so you could like wave it off yeah. before, before the matches yeah it's good stuff 